Uh, welcome to a new video where I want to compare the speed of the Huawei P Smart 2021 and the Nova 8i. Uh, both in a different price region, both with roughly the same kind of specs, with only a minor difference in terms of camera specs, and both with a pretty old and slowish, sluggish CPU, at least on paper. What I was surprised with is the speed of the uh, Nova 8i, which is a lot quicker than I anticipated, because when comparing benchmarks, you can see that the Snapdragon 662 is not so far away from the Kirin 710. And uh, yeah, what we will do now is checking out some applications and some uh, speed test basically how fast applications can start. So we start up with the app gallery. One, two, three. And as expected, the Nova 8i is a bit quicker than the Snapdragon, uh, than the Kirin uh, 710a. And uh, the next application we want to start is Reddit. One, two, three. And here it looks like Kirin version is a bit faster than the Snapdragon 662, which is pretty interesting. So it took way too long on the Snapdragon variant. So uh, do we have another application I can start? Let's try out Afdroid. One, two, three. And here a bit faster on the right. Uh, what about some Games. We can also try some games. I have this the defense something something installed on both one two three. So which one is loading the game quicker? And no thanks. And Huawei login one two three. Mate with Unity. And it seems that it was a bit quicker on the left than on the right, which is also interesting. So maybe the GPU is a bit faster here as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Now I have the Nova 8i on the top and the P Smart 2021 on the bottom. We want to load a project here and render it out to see which one is faster. The interesting thing is like uh, one, two, three, almost at the same time. The interesting part comes here when I click on export, I can export full HD 1080p 30 frames per second on the PSmart 2021. But on the Nova 8i, I can only export up to HD 720p and then up to 60 frames per second. I'm not allowed to go to full HD 1080p, which is super, super annoying. So if you want to do any work with the Nova 8i, uh, video work that is just forget it. <laughs> there's no stabilization. There is, um, at least there's not so much focus hunting as on the P-Smart. But when it comes to editing, it's a nightmare. So yeah, we, I can start both to see which one is quicker here and get the megabit per second rate also to eight point <laughs> roughly. Maybe a bit more, it doesn't hurt. Okay, it's close enough. And then click on save, one, two, three. And now we will see which one is faster in processing this. Okay, as you can see here, the Nova 8i is quicker, but keep in mind it's rendering 720p video instead of uh, 1080p video. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you can see it, it will finish fast and early. And yeah, it finished already. And this one is finishing now as well. So yeah, all in all, the Nova 8i um, is a big disappointment because it cannot even compete with the 101 euro expensive P Smart. If you get a new 160 or 150 euros maybe, which is a big, big bummer. So I'm not sure why Huawei is throwing um, this onto the market. Yeah, no one's asking for such a bad device.